I like it though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled what? moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again? Symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is it got his man complete. Cowboys have cut it to within a score. And that there, that was just a fly route. There was no stop. He just went. Yeah, and it was beautiful to watch because you have to set it up as you go along. Everyone knows he's fast, so you play him for that. That's the number one thing you want to take away. But as you go through a game, sometimes you vary the speed in which you come off the line of scrimmage and maybe start a little bit slower. Get him to stop his feet a little bit as a defensive back and then explode and go, as we saw there. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Now a handoff here to his running back. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got them. So now a timeout call by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Wins to throw on second down. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. And the defense in desperate need of a stop. They have to get off the field and get the ball back to their offense if they want a chance. Wentz now on first down. And he's got Rome. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards on the pickup. And the Eagles are going to have a first down. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the offense has it first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. To throw his wins. Flush Betty can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And Sturgis able to knock it through. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So barring something extraordinary, something crazy here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Brandon, this will be a great win for them. The better team's going to win this game, no question about it. And this will get out of bounds. No worries there, though. That still goes as a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. Obviously a tough spot here. They need a lot of luck to win this game, but still a small chance. they got to make sure they get the ball to the sideline. Get out of bounds, preserve clock. Now Prescott. Caught left 
inside, Williams. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now that has to be fun for a head coach to watch. They've been working on clock management since the first day they went to camp. And guess what? It all came together there. A team that understood the situation, got out of bounds, and stopped the clock. Here's Prescott. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And he's brought down after a good gain. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They'll look to throw here on first down. Finding time. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. Good job by the O-line quarterback. Had time to go through his checks. That's one you need to take advantage of. A perfect situation, and they're unable to take advantage of it. When you have that much time to scan the field, you have to find an open receiver. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. This will be caught at about the three. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Shift together here from the D-line. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got time. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. And here comes play number six on this drive. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. Back to throw again. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. And that one was knocked away, and I think the defenders are going to be a little upset with themselves. They made the play on the football, but that one felt like a forced pass by the quarterback. Thought he had somewhat open. He really wasn't. Maybe an example of having too much confidence in his receiver that no matter what, I'm going to throw it to him. And that was a play made by the defense, and it could have been a bigger one. They'll go to the air here on third and two. That's caught at the one. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Des Bryant, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll try and throw for it. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. So now with little time remaining, they'll have this and maybe one more play. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Wentz with a kneel down, and that will be the final act of this game. Well, I know at points of this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one.
So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. 